hi welcome to Oyikuri's creation in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to attach alice band to a cano fascinator look at it how to how to neatly attach alice band many people have asked they don't really know which side which part to attach the headband on this so this is um a molded um, a molded uh, princess mat molded fascinator so i have what i'll be using to design it here flower crinoline with this rope and all of that then i have my label which i'll be attaching on it just the way i did this look at it it's very neat so how to neatly attach your Alice band on a canoe, a canoe fascinator. This is a canoe ship. Look at it. Look at it. So I'll teach you how to, to put, to attach this um, Alice band and then the design also so this is a place if you've not subscribed subscribe to my channel hit the notification button so that you be notified when i post a new video do not forget oe chris creation i'm on instagram at oe chris creation craft tiktok at oe chris creation facebook at oe chris creation so please give me a follow on instagram give me a follow on tiktok and hit the notification button and subscribe to my channel and god bless you i love you all so let's go there let me just put this <laughs> yep so to get started i have my needle and thread here Place it here. This is the front. So this is your Alice bag. Look at it. You locate this place. Can you see? Hmm? Did you see that? Then this is how you attach it. You turn it over here. Can you see? You sew across. You stitch across. You stitch across. You check here to know where it came and then These flowers they are disturbing let me keep them one side yay i'm holding my thread oh Can you see? Hmm? You hold it to it. 
fold it to it and then come out again This thread you shall not tangle in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> My thread wants to tangle. It will not happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you see it? So you keep on sewing it across until it is firm on it. See the up the this thing. Hmm? I see the inner. So before you do your design, before you embellish your fascinator, you have to first of all attach your Alice band. You understand? So that your stitch here, you can use your decoration to cover it. Did you get it? Hmm? So when, when it is firm, you, you will know by yourself that the tin is firm. When it is firm, then you can just cut out your thread and tie it. You tie it. Pass it through here. Pass it through here and tie it. Cut out your thread. Open this up and tie it. So this is how to fix an Alice band on a fascinator. When you are done with this, you can use either a breast pad or anything you have or your label like me. I'll be using my label. Oye Chris Creation label. I'll be using it to cover it. So you just use it to cover with gum. You rub gum. I use it to cover. I have USU gum here and there's light. I might decide to use electric gum. You use this. You rub it here and then you use it to cover it. So if you are not going to design your fascinator more than this, then it's okay. But the thing is you must look for something to use to cover where you attach this here. Did you get that? Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button subscribe or oh, subscription is your way of saying i love your videos it's your way of supporting me okay so well i will still do the design in this video so just stay connected i'll tie this thread again and then cut it out so oh my god oh i have my crinoline here so what i'm going to do you can see that I have not covered it. You will make sure you finish with any stitch you are doing up here that will show down here. You have to finish with it. You will be true with it before you use your label or a ribbon or any uh, bias or even a breast pad, soft breast pad to cover it. Okay? 
So this is it. I'm going to sew this across. This is the way I want to attach it. I'll put it like this. Can you see? This is it. This is the front. So I'll put it on top of where I stitch. And I'll stitch across also. I'll pass it from the down parts. And then stitch on it across. The same place I attach the head, head uh, band is the same place I'm attaching this. So take note of it. Can you see? I'm stitching across it. Oh, my thread just got caught so i need to to retie it so this is it sewed across it when you feel it is firm then you can remove your thread so you can see that everything i'm stitching is still within this jurisdiction it's still within this place so that when i'm going to cover my rough edge it won't be in another place. You pass it through. And then you tie, you tie your thread. You see it. So I'll tie it now. This flower leave me alone now. Please do not forget to subscribe. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to cover this space that I stitch. You can use gum and you can decide to still sew through. I'll use it to cover this place. Then this particular one, I'll bring this in like this. And put it here. I want my flower to be very close to the front. So this one now is what I will now use to cover here. You can just use gum to attach it and that will be all. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, share this video, download and watch. You can watch, watch it over and over again to understand better. Follow me on Instagram at Oe Chris Creation, TikTok at Oe Chris Creation, Facebook at Oe Chris Creation. You can join our online training also. There is an online training that I am planning that is coming up. Just search Oye Chris Creation on Facebook. Join my group, Oye Chris Creation, and my page. Like my page so that you'll be notified when the online training is starting. Okay? Thank you. I love you. And God bless you.